Okay, ready to roll? All right. Hi, it's Richie here and welcome to my room. Now last week we showed you the benefits of jailbreaking and installing Cydia apps onto your iPad. Now the next obvious question is how do you actually get Cydia running and load all those jailbreak apps to really customize the iPad or iPhone the way you really wanted? Well, we're gonna head over to my workbench and I'm gonna show you how we did it. Okay, so we're gonna take a look now at what we did to get the iPad working the way we wanted it. Now, we are in no way encouraging you to follow the steps we're about to take because warranty issues aside, you can very quickly go from this to this. And if you don't know what that means, uh, just check uh, Brick iPad on Google. Having said that though, the tool that we are using is good for uh, iOS 6 all the way up to iOS 6.1.2 um, and it has been downloaded over 7 million times already. Now we are using a Windows 8 notebook right here. Uh, it needs to have iTunes installed so it has the drivers to communicate uh, using the tool to the iPad back and forth. So I'm now going to take you through the steps that I went through uh, to go from a stock iPad if you like all the way through to a highly customizable iPad. It's going to take around five minutes and we're going to take out uh, the installation uh, times themselves. But let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is uh, visit the website that you can see above. As you can see, uh, there's a Windows, Mac, and Linux versions of the tool. All you've got to do is uh, just download that file. What you'll get is a zip file, which you'll need to uncompress, uh, and which you will find in there. As you can see, we're going to open that file now as a zip file. We're going to uh, go into the folder, and there's an executable file there. Uh, and Let's put the iPad next to the PC. And all we have to do is simply uh, press one button and uh, the computer does the rest. It communicates with the iPad. As long as you've got the drivers on there, it's quite a smooth and fast process. All you need to do is enter uh, the jailbreak button once uh, and it will then go through uh, the entire jailbreak system all by itself, as you can see. And we've sped that up a bit, but you can see that's the general idea. We now have a Cydia. Uh, folder. So let's go straight to the iPad by itself. Open the Cydia folder for the first time. It prepares the file system. Uh, and when we go into Cydia uh, on our initial startup, it asks you what type of user you are. We're just a user, not a hacker. Uh, and it starts showing you the screen appropriate to you right there. So we're going to set up SBS, oh, sorry, SB settings first. Uh, and you can see all you have to do is press uh, install, confirm. It'll do its thing and run a, a script. It'll ask you to restart what's called the springboard, uh, which is basically uh, the area of the, where all the apps live. Uh, you can see now that we have two apps installed, the activator and SB settings. Uh, it looks like a mobile application, so you just double the size. First, we're going to set what toggles we want to show on that window. Uh, now, we've got a Wi-Fi model, so 3G isn't important, and we also don't have um, SSH. So we're going to take SSH off as well. Uh, but we'll keep the other toggles uh, there. Now, activate is actually used to detect what kind of uh, gesture you want to activate uh, any particular apps. Now, what we're going to do is activate it from the top right of the screen. We're going to do that now. Now, when we press the home button, the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to restart itself again. Uh, so we're going to swipe that open and we'll slide down. And as you can see, there it is we've um, been able to use the chosen gesture and the toggles turn on and off as, as you saw in the last video. Okay, so now we're going to go across back to Interseer again and we're going to install uh, Zephyr this time. Now this is one of the first ones that um, is a paid app, but as you can see it says the package has already been officially purchased. Now I've jailbroken this particular iPad mini before uh, and it's recognized that if I was on another iPad, I'd probably have to enter uh, my, my details. But once you've done that once, uh, it will recognize from then on. And you can see running another script, you restart the springboard again. And now a Zephyr is uh, installed and let's test that. So we'll just swipe up. Yep, and there you go. So of using the home button, you can simply swipe up. Very, very easy. Okay, so I'm just showing you the net as it is, the Safari browser. Uh, what we'll do now is go back into Cydia and we're going to add on uh, the Safari Download Manager. Uh, we'll just press uh, the download there. Again, it's going to detect 
uh, that it's been purchased before. We just press install here, we confirm it, and we're going to get the download. Again, we'll just wait for it to restart in its springboard. Here it comes. And this time you'll see that there is a slight change to Safari as we showed last time in that there's now a, a download a dialog on the top left hand corner there where you'd have your downloads come through. So that's now installed also. And uh, the last thing we're going to do is install uh, iFile which you actually need to use uh, when you're using uh, the download manager otherwise you can't actually access what you've downloaded. So again, you can see it's been officially purchased. We confirm that. It runs its script downloads now uh, we just simply return to Cydia and we'll get out of there we'll go into iFile itself and there you go we can see the file structure of the iPad mini it's all there so that's really it that's a uh, as you can see it's uh, quite a smooth process well it was for us anyway and we now have a customized iPad mini so there you go, it uh, looks pretty simple, but as I did mention earlier, uh, anything can go wrong and inevitably sometimes does. As a final thought though, over 7 million people have downloaded this tool and with that many people interested, you'd think that uh, Apple would consider integrating some of these features um, into perhaps their next iOS. So what would you like to see in the next iOS update? Let us know in the comments below, like this video if you really enjoyed it, and of course subscribe to be one of the first to see our weekly updates. Until next time.